while I was in school, any free time during computer class would be spent going through websites trying to find the most fun flash game. So today, I've curated a list of the most insane flash games from back in the day. First off is Mario Rampage, a parody game of Mario created by Burst Films using the 2D sprites from Super Mario World. But as soon as this text box pops up, and after reading the second line, which says, Use up and down to aim your gun. Right there, you know, this isn't your run-of-the-mill Mario game. There's no jumping on enemies in this game at all. Just make some mushroom turtle soup with the old 12 gauge. You hate bob -ombs? No problem. These wiggler worms giving you trouble? Then blow his damn head off. Ah, there's nothing like shooting down a Koopa. This game feels like Mario meets Contra, so if you're into those type of games, then I definitely would give it a shot. Next up on the list is Sober Santa. I remember playing this game back in computer class. In this game, you play as Santa Claus, who is clearly drunk, walking around with a bottle of... something. Now your goal in the game is to keep collecting bottles of alcohol and dodging fruitcake while trying to keep your balance so you don't fall off of the roof. The problem is, the more bottles you collect, the more destroyed Santa gets, making him slip and slide everywhere, which will eventually lead to you falling off of the roof. Next on the list is a game that most of you will probably remember, Whack Your Boss in 24 Ways. I remember when I first saw this Flash game, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was brutal, fun, and funny at the same time. Created by Duty.com, 24 Ways to Whack Your Boss later upgraded to 27 Ways. This is a point and click style game, here's how it plays. Your character is an employee of some business. Your boss walks in and immediately starts talking trash basically telling the player how he sucks at his job. You then have to find out the 24 different ways to eliminate your boss, such as clicking on the keyboard, the lamp, the coffee mug, and so on. If you can find all 24 animations, you win the game. And one more thing, it's pretty funny listening to the boss ramble on as you continue to do nothing. I had to save the best for last. How many of you remember this classic Flash game, Stick RPG? Created by X-Gen Studios, this game was released in January of 2003 and consisted of a blue character making his way in a 2D world. Throughout the game, you can raise stats, get different jobs, and the main goal is to become wealthy by the end. You have a house where you can sleep and check your messages. Locations in the game, like restaurants and bars, add to the story, and you can refill your health bar by purchasing items. Once entering the pawn shop, you can purchase weapons. There is also a bank to deposit your money in. Another funny thing inside Stick RPG is a red drug dealer pacing back and forth, offering you some product. Difficulty is based on periods of time you choose. 15, 40, or 100 days, or you have the option of unlimited time. The game has quite a few characters around town, such as a homeless man who asks for money, and a little kid who asks you to buy him smokes. Once you do, he will give you a skateboard to ride around. There is a school you can go to for studying and working out. You'll want to do this often for stat upgrades. Depending on if your karma is high or low, your character color will fade to white throughout the game. Bar fights are a really fun thing to do in this game. Turn-based RPG comes into play, and you can use multiple attacks like fire or an energy ball. This game is basically seeing how successful you can become in a select amount of time. Stick RPG is really impressive, especially considering when it was released. Kind of a Flash version of GTA. That is the most insane Flash games from the early 2000s. Let me know in the comments section if you remember playing any of these games. And subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until next time, stay up late productions.